Today's video is brought to you by the letters B and E, Bolex and Elmo. It's gonna be a lot of fun trying to make old cameras run at crystal speeds with no crystal lock. Here we go. One of the biggest problems with DC is that direct current, it does not have a sine wave that can be locked to, you know? And so as a consequence, AC motors generally run at the same speed consistently, right? When you get them up to speed, they run at the same speed because they have alternating current and that sine wave helps kind of keep them locked. And so with battery operated motors, tape recorders and cameras and stuff, you have to have a crystal oscillator to kind of create that pulse that you need to keep the motor running at a consistent speed. Not a big deal to do, but back in the day when these cameras were made, it was an expensive thing to do, which is kind of weird because it's nowadays it's in everything pretty much. So the Bolex solution was to have an external crystal oscillator box, but for Super 8, there were very, very few crystal oscillator Super 8 cameras where the oscillator was built in. Very, very few. So myself and many other people were wondering, hey, um, if you shot with a Bolex with no crystal oscillator and you shot with a Super 8 camera with no crystal oscillator, which one's better? Does one hold up better than the other one? So we're gonna try to answer that question today really simply. And before you kind of go into this long video, I just wanna say for the record, believe it or not, the Bolex works. So that's kind of cool. So what we did was that we did an ectochrome test and you can watch another video about ectochrome and it's really, really cool. It's long winded and it talks about Super 8 and 16 ectochrome, tons of fun video. And in there you can see our sound test too. But what we did was that we shot two rolls of ectochrome, one on the Super 8 camera, one on the 16 camera, and we did a sync sound on both of them. So I had a, a you know an audio recorder that was crystal lock audio recorder. I had a slate. I marked the slate on both cameras and both takes, and we basically laid the audio in on our DaVinci Resolve and see if it just stays in sync. Because we already know the Bolex is loud, we're gonna take a furniture pad and we're gonna put it over the camera like so. All right, and here we are in 16 millimeter. It's kind of a different look than Super 8, isn't it? Just kind of pretty different. Uh, you'll hear the camera's a little bit louder. The Bolex is not exactly a quiet camera, but with the furniture pad, it's not so horrible. This clip should stay pretty close to being in sync, but we have a sync generator coming to us really soon, and we're gonna be doing a test all about that later. But I think this camera is pretty close to being in sync, and if it's not, it just means it's not running at the same speed throughout the entire piece. So we'll be good. Now back to you at the studio. So yeah, I think this is a winner. Now, can you do a long scene with it? I don't know, but does it matter? It seemed to be pretty close. Now with this guy is a small problem because Super 8 projectors generally don't run at any given speed very well. So for this camera, we had to scan it to be able to test it. And unfortunately it doesn't hold a lock. All right, here we go. All right, this is a sync sound test to see if this camera is in sync with my mouth. Is it? Can you tell? A, B, C, D, E, F, G? Anyway, we're here shooting Ektachrome and it looks good. I like it. Do you like it? The charts were really good. And this is my old school Elmo I just bought from Japan. It's a pretty cool camera. And uh, yeah, that's, that's all I really got to say about that right now. Back to you at the office. You know, um, it was neat to do this test because I've always wanted to know if you can. Now, one of the things that's interesting to note is that the EBM does have a sync sound module you can buy for it, and we bought one, and it did nothing. So we don't know the reason why. There's no manual for it online. I don't know if there's something wrong. We've got a Bolex manual. It tells us how to plug it in. We plugged it in the right way. It did nothing. It, it ran at a slower speed, the camera. So we know that the 24 frame a second mode in this camera is in sync. So when you hear the motor running and you hear that speed is coming out of it, that's the speed it should work at. But when we turn to sync sound with the sync sound um, in it at 24 frames a second, 60 hertz, it wasn't working. So I think we got a dud on that sync sound um, crystal oscillator, which is unfortunate. 
uh, before I throw it away, we're going to try another couple of different cables. We're, we're ordering some cables right now, but I don't think it's worth experimenting too much because it works the way it is, which is quite amazing, actually, for a camera that's made in the 80s and, you know, doesn't have a crystal lock for the motor to be so precise running that with a fresh, clean battery uh, that's fully charged, it will stay at a relatively good speed. Pretty amazing, actually. And I hope you like the rest of my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you then.